Alice Smith, the philosophy for health versus disease management. She's board certified uh, doctor, is proprietor of Texas Biological Medicine Incorporated. Please help me welcome Dr. Lana Smith. Thank you all for coming today. Hopefully we'll have uh, 10 minutes at the end, but if you have questions as I'm speaking, Jordan, please raise your hand. Because if we get to a concept, I have a tendency to just blow off past them and you ask me a question, I can't remember what I was talking about. Um, I'm Dr. Lana Smith. Uh, I'm a board certified naturopathic doctor, but I use biological medicine. So most of my education is European, Switzerland, Germany, England. And so we work with the body on how we can upbuild the metabolic functions in the body so the body will start turning things on or off that promote health. We're right over here off of Keller Springs between Midway and Marsh. We, um, let's start back. 14 years ago, I was on a cane. I could not sleep flat in the bed. Um, I didn't eat much. I didn't play with my horses, feed my dogs. I didn't do some of the basic things in life. And a friend recommended me to a quack. I'd been to 53 doctors in 18 months. They said I needed uh, psychiatric help. There was absolutely nothing wrong with me. My blood work was perfect, and they didn't understand why I needed a cane. Uh, I was at my wit's end, so I went and met with this man. He also, he was the one who was my, became my mentor. He educated me on biological medicine and on the metabolic functions and how the difference of our blood work that shows up on our blood panel and how our body is quite different than the blood work. So in my education, I have looked and said, I shouldn't be in the same pool as let's say you, right? You're a man, I'm a woman. So genetically, though our biological functions are the same, he has not replenished his resources of nutrients from a monthly cycle. And we do that most of our lives. And so women give up a lot of our excess nutrition, but it doesn't show up on a blood test. I shouldn't have an, the recommended daily allowance of a 24-year-old man when I'm a 53-year-old woman. So women are uniquely biologically different than men. And men, bless you, we love you, you all heal really quickly because you didn't give up your resources. So in looking at blood work, and I'm very blessed that so many of my patients come to me and they have recent blood work. And so we look at the bell curve, if everyone remembers a bell curve, we look at the bell curve of the blood work. If your blood works on the lower third, we want to move it towards the middle. If your blood works on the upper third, we want to move it towards the middle. Because, let's say, depending on the lab you use, your glucose will fall off out of range at 100 or 109 or 115. Well, if you're at 99 today, who's to say tomorrow you won't be at 100? And in their range, you are out of range. But when you start to get to the upper third or the lower third, the body has already started trying to fix whatever the metabolic function is that's not working effectively. So after it gets out of whatever your body's individual unique range is, then it's saying, I can't fix this anymore. And at the time when it says we can't fix that anymore is about the time we start to realize we start to have symptoms of something. It can be subtle. When I fly, my ankle swell. Why would your ankle swell? Well, if you're looking at some of the charts that I use, if you're looking at these charts, then your ankles and everything surrounding your ankles is in red. That's a kidney function. So if we support the kidneys with mineral balance, your ankles shouldn't swell. And then as we start to retain mineral balance, then some of the other metabolic functions in the body start to self-correct. 
but through traditional medicals, and we love them, we need them. If I cut my arm with a chainsaw, I'm not going to use my remedies. I'm going to the emergency room. We're going to get all of that fixed appropriately. But then afterwards, to promote healing, to promote wellness, to, to promote repair, I'm going to use biological medicine. I look at magnesium. There's 14 different kinds of magnesium. If I go to Whole Foods, I get confused. So, but there's magnesium. I have patients who come in and say, I can't take magnesium. And I said, what kind of magnesium did you take? I don't remember, and it's okay. Well, what kind of symptoms did you have? Oh, my bowels released. Oh, okay. So you took either magnesium oxide or magnesium <laughs> Yes. So they because they caused the bowels to move. But if we took magnesium chloride, then we would help the immune system. We would help brain function and we would help the cells to detoxify. Zinc is the number two element that we must have. It only does 125 enzymatic reactions in the body. But if you go to Whole Foods, what kind of zinc are you supposed to take? Zinc sulfate, when mixed with B6, helps you make hydrochloric acid. But you need zinc gluconate to help with hormones. You need zinc chloride to help with thyroid function. So when you're looking at the biology of the body, we look at how do all of these elements come together and how does the body use them and where are you having issues so we can prevent something down the road. Um, has anybody in here ever been on a cruise? Yes, so I had my first cruise last summer. It was just totally amazing. And we were had this weird thing that happened as we were coming across the Mediterranean. We came up upon a raft and there was a whole bunch of guys on the raft. And so the cruise ship had to stop the forward motion so that we could actually turn, and we circled the cruise ship out in the middle of the Mediterranean for five hours till somebody showed up. Well, we had to stop the motion, come back before we could make the turn. Traditional medical has convinced us, take an aspirin, fix the headache. That's the drive-through approach to help. But if we're really looking for the long-term wellness, long-term thrival, how do we not become one of the two and three women who will have breast cancer or some sort of reproductive cancer in the next 10 years, then we need to look at how do we stop the cruise ship and change direction so we can actually thrive. In looking at that, because that can be a slow process, people find that to be a little frustrating. They come back in, they say, well, you know, I've done this for 30 days. Yes, my digestion's a little bit better. I have a little bit of energy, but I still have this other list of things. Now, for most of our men, they come in and go, I'm sleeping great, I'm having all this energy, I'm digesting my food, I'm not pooping anymore, and my wife says I'm not belching. This is really great. And so we check off like 10 things. I go, okay, two or three more visits, you're gonna be good to go, see you in a year. But when we look at the tongue, especially for women, when we look at the tongue, we can start to see changes within that 30 days because the tongue changes every three or four days. I saw somebody yesterday and I said, I took a picture of her tongue and then we compared the picture of her tongue to this chart. And I said, oh, it's so great. You don't have teeth marks around the edge. She goes, I did three days ago. And I said, really? She goes, I looked at my teeth. I wasn't biting my tongue. Why did I have those teeth marks? So we talked about the changes in the tongue every three or four days. So if we're working on digestion, you can actually track what's happening in your tongue and we can see, are you making hydrochloric acid? Are you breaking down the food? Are you rebuilding that? what's happening in your kidneys, what's happening in your liver. So though you may not feel 500% better, we can see I'm making these changes along the way, which to me is really important because I'm in this for the long haul. Um, I, at one of my patients uh, about four months ago challenged me. So how do you know you're healthy? And I 
he said, well, I have energy, I'm not on a cane, I have outrun everybody, I you know, get this many hours of sleep, I sleep well, I'm riding my horses, I, you know, whatever. And he said, but that doesn't mean you're truly healthy. And I said, okay, in your guidelines, what would tell you I was healthy? He said, I'd like to see you get every blood work possible, and I want to see all of your numbers. Sure, no problem. He said, when's the last time you had blood work? So probably 15 years ago. I said, do you have a copy of it? I said, I sure do. Next time you come in, I'll have all the blood panels, anything possible. I'll get that, and then I'll bring you my own blood work. So he came in, he looked at it, he goes, you have really great blood work. I said, you know the best part of having really great blood work is? He goes, now I said, now I can really start to get healthy. <laughs> <laughs> because there was nothing that my body was saying, hey, this is out of range by their the medical standpoint. This is out of range. So then we started working on kidneys. And how do we rebuild your kidney? Because traditional medical does not tell us we can rebuild our kidneys. But we can. In 180 days, you can rebuild your kidneys. In 180 days, you can also rebuild your liver. So we kind of went into our kitchen labs and we started coming up with what foods rebuild liver, what foods rebuild kidneys. And then we started sharing with everyone and then we had some you know, people came to the office and we were, what happened when you drank this broth? And what happened when you drank this broth? And we all started talking about it. And some people could drink a quarter of a cup. And I was drinking a quarter a day. So I'm like, you can only drink a quarter of a cup. Yeah, this happens. All of a sudden, what we realized about three months later, we had created a chelation of using only root vegetables. Because root vegetables create different enzymatic reactions in the body because they live in dark, wet, moist environments. And they bring in different nutrients than the ones who grow above ground. So we use lots of different options, if you will. So we can use nutrition, we can use gemotherapies. Is anyone familiar with gemotherapies? So does anyone know what the number three surgeon in Texas is? Gallbladder removal is the number three most popular surgery in Texas. And it's under women under 25. So that's the highest group. Which is really sad because they're in pain, they go to the emergency room, they just want it to stop. The doctor never tells them, you'll never make healthy cells again, you'll never digest fat, your energy will forever be a problem. You won't be able to, you'll be able to wash one coffee cup, i.e. coffee cup with that drip we're going to create, but you're not ever going to be able to wash Thanksgiving dinner dishes with the drip that was created. And so we can use a gemotherapy, which is a bud of a plant, a bud, and then it drains the gallbladder. And so it goes through the liver, drains the hepatic stones, the liver stones, drains the gallbladder, drains the small intestine. So why do we have to remove the gallbladder? We were given our gallbladder. Now if we use taurine and B6, we start making protease and lipase, and now we can start breaking down our fats and our protein. So if we upbuild the body, we turn on functions. So we can turn on the ability to break down food. We can turn on the ability to absorb nutrients. We can turn off certain things that are being displayed, i.e. swelling, i.e. gallbladder pain. We also have a new therapy in our office that um, I am ecstatic about. It's called Lymphatic Enhancement Therapy. It's L-E-T. It's eight times more effective than manual lymphatic drainage because its target is to go into the clump cells, break them apart, cause them to throw up into the lymphatic system, and then when we change the electrical charge of cells, we change how the cells absorb nutrients and how the cells <coughs> absorb oxygen. When we do that, we change your long-term health. So we're having a lot of really great um, 
testimonials of things that are happening in the office. We're offering free 20-minute sessions with that. I also have brochures. And so since we're full here, we agree the young lady who does it's 30 years in um, lymph or massage and lymph rather than the cranial sacral and all of those types of things. Um, she's agreed to set up 20-minute free sessions at the office. When we do manual lymphatic drainage, as wonderful as it is, there is a bit of it that is like just relocating the trash. And proteins, undigested proteins, get in the filtration of the lymphatic system and clog it up. With the LAT, we use noble gases as well as electrical charge, and that goes in and helps bring that up. It also breaks up the biofilm. If you have parasites, fungus, mold, and yeast, there's a biofilm. The LAT breaks that up as well. After a one-hour session, then we do a 30-minute foot bath, which is negatively and positively charged ions. So as your body has dumped everything into the lymph, then it comes out your feet in the foot bath. We use negatively and positively charged ions for that because some herbicides and pesticides and solvents carcinogens have a negative charge and some have a positive charge. So we want to affect all of the trash that's going through the lymphatic system. If you guys will raise your arm for me like this, if you'll put your hand right here in your armpit, your target of an armpit is you should be able to get this much of your fingers in your armpit. Most people's armpit is flush. That means the lymphatic system is not draining to the 12th thoracic duct. The right breast has to drain into the right armpit. The digestion drains into the left breast, then the right breast, then the armpit. And our legs drain up into our groin. So, I had dense breasts, always have, and I had no armpits. After four sessions, the quality of my breast tissue changed, but I've gotten armpits, and I was very excited about that. <laughs> you should get all the way up to here, inside your armpit. So, yeah. So you want to be able to put that up in there when your arm's just about shoulder height. Yeah. <laughs> and the fun part is I only now, because she's so busy, I can't get on her table, I only am able to get a session about once a quarter, five minutes. Does anybody have questions? What was your profession before you started doing this now? I actually, people would bring me their hurt animals that had absolutely no chance of healing. And I used herbs and made poultices and packs, and then we would get the animals well in the situations where the vet would say they would have to put them down. That was my passion. So that's what you're doing while you're in a cane? On a cane? No, I was actually writing government proposals at that time because I was not very mobile, so I would just try. Yes. Yes, go ahead. What about high blood pressure? Yes, high blood pressure, five amazing things. One, we need to look at kidney function. Two, we need to look at B9. B9 takes homocysteine and recirculates it into energy. And in Europe, they say cholesterol is not the problem, blood pressure is not the problem, homocysteine is the problem. Then we look at B3 and ADH because that helps with cellular hydration. We look at magnesium, particularly magnesium chloride because that helps reduce the blood pressure as well. And then for myself, I look at using the LET. Um, if you come by the booth, I have a picture of my blood before and after. When your blood, and it's called Rouleau, it looks like a flower, so the red blood cells have clumped together. They struggle getting through all the valves because you're supposed to have one set of red blood cells that goes through. And when you're trying to bring a whole flower of blood cells, it creates a problem with the atrioventricular. Atrio yes. Yes. Um, I had red blood cells, and it said I had enlarged red blood cells, but my doctor didn't explain it to me. Is it or? Yes. I was so bad. We can actually, and it's.
quite simple. I have a whole set of charts, which is everything on your blood work and how you support yourself nutritionally for that. So absolutely, you can actually even just call and your heart call. And I think it's the same thing. It's like a B12, B9 deficiency. But with B12, and this is my where I kind of feel a little bit anxious of the natural immune world. B12, there's methylcobalamin, cyanocobalamin, adenosylcobalamin, and hydrocobalamin. You would want methylcobalamin. But if I gave someone who is anxious adenosylcobalamin, it takes their anxiety through the roof. Whereas methylcobalamin helps them be calm, centered, focused, and balanced. We have these charts at the, the table. You're more than welcome to come by and look at them and take pictures like Adam would like to do. Okay. Oh, so we still have a few more. She was back in the background. Does <laughs> health insurance help at all with any of those? No. Unfortunately, it's a bad. I wish. <laughs> if we lived in here. <laughs> yes, sir. You said for the hospital charts of B9, B3, and what was the last one? Um, B9 is specifically 5-methyl tetrahydrofolate. It's 5-MTHF. B3, but you want it to be in NADH. Magnesium chloride. Um, we also have a new product, actually, that you saw by, I just have some, you take a picture of it, that um, I just recently found, and I think Sprouts is not carrying it. But it's a trace mineral product that actually has that it has uh, 79 minerals. It has B6, um, magnesium chloride. We also look at potassium as well as sodium. When it show, when when you show on your blood work to have high calcium, high potassium, high sodium, what that means is the body that the body in an effort to balance the pH is robbing that from your bones to try to balance the pH. So in part of the whole thing after my blood work, I went on a mission to start rebuilding my joints because they, traditional medical does not tell us you can rebuild your joints. So in looking at that, I had to go on this mission of when pH is out of range. So if you're highly acidic, then we need to give you nutrients to drive you to middle pH range. If you're highly alkaline, usually there's a metal issue, a bacterial issue, and we need to help you drive your pH, your tongue and your urine, there's a lot of urine, towards middle. When we drive you towards middle pH, the body starts repairing those joints. So we can repair your connective tissue, we can repair joints. Um, as long as you're not bone on bone, the body will start repairing. And every day you're not degenerating is a day you're working. Yes, ma'am. Do you use colloidal silver? I do not. Um, I prefer things like bamboo. Bamboo is a natural antibiotic. It is part of our program. I'm not a big person on putting metals into my body. So I know a lot of people have a lot of great results with it, um, but I'm not, yeah, it doesn't work for me. <laughs> I'm more of an upbuilding. Let's look at magnesium and zinc and all the nutrients to make an immune system, and then we can move from that forward, yeah. But yes, in case you do, there are natural antibiotics, which is bamboo. And bamboo also helps grow hair. So in the meantime, you breathe better, grow a little more hair, and you have a natural antibiotic. Is it in capsules? Is it liquids? Yes, it? it's an encapsulation. Yeah. So I helped my mother who is 90 girl here and place this up on her scalp. She never had it. She said, better than when I was in high school. Uh -huh. I can do something. <laughs> Anything else? Any other questions? We'd love for you to stop by and see us at the booth. We also have sign-ups for some free sessions this coming week. If it's something you think you might want with the LAT, or you can see what she's doing. Yes? Given your range, I'm curious if you recommend any particular binders or detox. I love detox after we have built up the body. So the cytochrome P450 is in charge of all detoxification in the liver. So if we, um, if you, have you ever had a septic system in a house? 
I know what you mean. Okay, so if you if your toilet was clogged up, would you keep flushing, or would and not expect it to come up either the shower or the kitchen sink? My premise is we upfill the liver will turn on the cytochrome P450 and start opening the clogs, and then the body will start to detoxify naturally, and you won't have any of the leaky eyes, ears, nose, fluish type feelings. I'm not really big into not feeling good, so <laughs> I, I think it's a lot kinder to the body to upbuild and let it turn it on. Then when the body turns on the cytochrome P450, then we can start looking at what does the body want to work on first? If we do it on the body's priority, we'll get a whole lot farther. We'll ask it to do one thing, and it will do like 40 or 50 or 100 things just because we upload it. So the initial appointment is almost three hours. I really want to know everything about you. I want to know all about your history, emotionally, spiritually, and physically. We bring in blood work. We look at the supplements you're taking already. Then I show you charts of metabolic functions, and we use applied kinesiology to see where you are on that. We look at the different nutritional deficiencies nutritional excesses, which can be as bad, and um, then we set up whatever your body wants to work on first. For women, it's usually eight or nine appointments. The next appointment's like about an hour or 30 minutes, whatever you choose. Yeah. So please feel free to stop by. I have cards. We have brochures. We have sign-up sheets. Thank you all.